It's finally fucking here. Call of Duty 4 Remastered. Even though today is November 3rd and the game technically doesn't come out until tomorrow, I think they made the servers on PS4 go live a little bit earlier today, and uh, I wish I knew this sooner because I would have made my MW2 PC video. I would have done a COD 4 Remastered video instead. Honestly, guys, as of right now, I've been playing this game for a little over an hour and a half, and this game is just, it's so fucking good. See, just as of right now, I'm playing it on PS4 because, uh, once again, it's still November 3rd. It hasn't unlocked on Steam just yet. But as soon as it becomes available on Steam, then I will definitely start, uh, you know, like, getting everything configured and ready to play it on PC and make some videos on PC. Yeah, honestly, as of right now, there's been a couple of things that I've realized about this, uh, game so far, and that is there's a couple of different, uh, kinds of players on this game as of right now. See, as of right now, I've realized that you got your snipers as usual, you know, like, the people that have played this game for a good while kind of know what's going on. And then you got the new terminology of, uh, new gen faggots, apparently, that just have zero idea what the fuck they're doing. And honestly, though, I mean, I've run into a, uh, a good amount of people that just, uh, I seriously feel like they have never played this game a day in their life. Like, seriously, though, there are some of the most, uh, just clueless motherfuckers when it comes to playing God 4. It's so sad. Although, honestly, I mean, it's easy for me to say because, I mean, I play Call of Duty 4 practically every single day, or at least have been over these past couple of years, easily. Been playing this game clearly ever since 2007. It is definitely, without a doubt, my favorite Call of Duty. Oh, Jesus Christ, that nade. Wait, hold on. I gotta try something. Can you still capture the flag through the wall? Oh, no, you can. God damn it. I guess they fixed a lot of these, like, old school little bugs and glitches that never really got fixed in the original game. Last stand! Oh my god! I still cannot fucking believe they brought back Juggernaut and Last Stand. Honestly, though, I would have been okay if they kept Martyrdom in the game, but no, nah, Juggernaut and Last Stand, they should have just, you know, been like, huh, you know, these are, uh, these perks here are really fucking frowned upon, and anyone who uses them is just a fucking faggot, so let's take it out the game. Except, I mean, then again, there are people that legitimately use those perks for whatever fucking reason. See, but on some real shit, though, I mean, like, aside the annoying things, I mean, there's gonna be annoying things that are, uh, literally in every single new Call of Duty, regardless if it's a remastered game or anything like that, but I mean, still, like, as of right now, I'm really enjoying myself on this game. Although, to be honest with you guys, yes, I'm not gonna lie, I have, uh, screamed a good number of times at this game, but, I mean, that's not really a surprise coming from me, right? It's just, for me, it's been really, uh, easy to distinguish, like, the new players, like, the guys that just have never played Call of Duty 4, like I've been talking about, and then the people that, uh, have some sort of COD 4 game sense, so they know what they're doing. And just, as of right now, I keep getting destroyed by the players that I feel like have just never played this fucking game before, and they're just killing me off pure luck. Honestly, though, I really shouldn't be taking this seriously, because I'm gonna be selling my PS. Oh, shit! Fucking climbed up the thing, just blindly no-scoped and got somebody. Alright, cool. But anyways, as I was saying, yeah, I really shouldn't be taking this all too seriously on PlayStation. Like, just considering I'm gonna be selling my PlayStation within, like, the next, I wanna say, like, two, three weeks is when I'm gonna start, like, posting some stuff out on social media, like, on my, uh, personal Facebook social media type kind of shit, being all like, if anybody wants a PS4, hit me up, I'm selling it for, like, 500 fucking dollars, along with all the games and everything. Yeah, to be honest with you guys, my PS4 was, uh, probably one of my worst investments that I've ever made, just because I just, you know, FUCK OFF! Fucking last stand, I'm actually disgusted. Well, anyways, it's just that I didn't play my PS4 as often as I thought it would, and that's also kind of considering just how shitty Black Ops 3 was to me. Like, Black Ops 3, in my opinion, just, as you guys know, was just, it, it was a pile of shit. Alright, let's get on this basic head glitch real quick, and, uh, alright, anybody gonna run through that doorway? Okay, yeah, of course, the moment I stop holding my breath. Why is this always a- holy shit, I got a triple kill with an A, but why is this always a thing? Why am I the only one that ever wants to fucking capture B-Flag? Guys, you are playing Domination, you gotta play the fucking objective, especially B-Flag on Vacant. Good god, do you wanna get spawn trapped at sea for the entire round? And also now, that's another thing, I mean, like, the whole halftime thing that they've added into Domination on God 4 Remastered, I really like that, honestly. Oh my fucking god, that opportunity was just wasted. Also, now, I was gonna mention this earlier while I was talking about, like, not taking this so seriously on PS4 just because I'm gonna be selling it anyways. Yeah, as far as, uh, COD 4 Remastered on PC goes for me, I'm gonna be taking that shit so fucking seriously, okay? Because apparently now they have, like, 20 prestiges in this game. I'm still not even, like, entirely sure about that. Like, 20 fucking prestiges, and then you also can get up to, uh, level 1000, like how it is on Black Ops 3. Which also, speaking once again of Black Ops 3 and the ranking system and everything, I've realized that the ranking system in this game is so similar to that game. See, now, for those of you who remember, the original Call of Duty 4, you only had to get, like, three team deathmatch kills, or, like, three plus tens, only 30 XP just to get from level 1 to 2. I spent an entire game at level 1. It was so similar to how, uh, Black Ops 3 was. I think it's, like, 4,000 XP per rank or some shit like that. You know, honestly, though, it doesn't even fucking CHILL OUT, SCUMPY! What is that shit? Like, why are you taking the game so far? I, why, yeah, why am I getting so mad? Like, why? I'm gonna be selling this game anyway. I'm gonna be selling my PS4. <laughs> Still doesn't change the fact I just got jump shotted by fucking Scumpy on the main stage. Jesus Christ. But I mean, 
mean, yeah, so, uh, once again, as I was saying, I'm actually really enjoying myself. It's just, there's a lot of different people playing this game right now that are taking this game extremely fucking seriously because having a high KD is so important. It really, once again, just goes hand in hand with the kind of players that are uh, currently playing this game. That should have been a collateral. That's bullshit. But just once again, I mean, you got the players that are taking this shit so seriously just because, like, they want to have a high KD. They want to have a high win-loss, or at least, like, above a 50%. Except here on PS4, I'm not really, once again, going to be taking anything seriously. Yet again, that does not mean that I'm going to stop raging obviously. It's just more or less, I'm just gonna focus on sniping, not really gonna red gun. I'm gonna play it like how I've been playing it over the past couple of years, because I stopped, like, really caring about a lot of, like, uh, KD and win-loss type shit on COD 4 a good while ago. At this point in time, I'm still really hoping that, uh, on COD 4 PC, that there's gonna be some sort of server browser, and that there's gonna be servers like C4S, where it's just completely anti-noob. Because now there's a problem with this, that I've just gotten so used to the way that I play COD 4 PC, just considering all I do is play on C4S. I now kind of feel like, with the amount of time that I've put into playing COD 4 PC and the amount of time I've just been playing on C4S, it's like, it's kind of ruined my COD 4 experience because now I'm just so used to playing in anti-noob lobbies and shit like that. Lobby, servers, really, whatever you want to call it, but just, I'm so used to like, people not using or not being able to use Juggernaut last stand and all sorts of the annoying ass fucking things that everyone just hates. Baby, fucking JUGGERNAUT! Just, I, I'm fucking over it. Okay, listen, if there's server browser on COD 4 PC, C4S, Phonics, whoever just runs these kind of servers, runs all these anti-noob servers, please, for the love of fucking God, make this happen. I will not deal another fucking year of Juggernaut and Last Stand. Like, I simply cannot be fucking bothered. This shit is so fucking frustrating. Like, holy fuck.